Uh, can you explain to us what we're looking at here and why genetic testing is so important? Okay, so what we're looking at here, um, and this might vary depending on what type of cancer we're discussing. So particularly in breast cancer, for um, you know many years we believe that this largest piece of the pie that's a sporadic are cancers that are essentially due to multifactorial causes. We tend to see them in individuals. They might not cluster in families so much. Um, it just happens because we are all human and we all have risk to develop cancer. Um, and that was at 70%. That's 70%. So that's when we say that we can't really explain exactly why. And all women have approximately a 12% lifetime risk of developing breast cancer. When we look at the familial and the hereditary piece, that's when we start, you know, essentially having um, stronger patterns of cancer in a family. Where we see that 10% wedge, we believe that that's growing. So it might be anywhere from 10 to 15%. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, the familial piece tells us that there's some families where we do see cancer, uh, clusters of breast cancer. And with families, we share more than just our genetics. So we share environment, we share lifestyle, we share choices, we share different exposures. But part of that might also be explained by genetic mutations or other genetic changes that we just haven't discovered yet or haven't been able to explain. That 10%, maybe 10 to 12 to 15% wedge that we believe is hereditary is when we know that we can identify a mutation. So we can identify a genetic change that we know is harmful that means that a gene that was supposed to protect us against cancer is not Did working not. properly. Exactly. And um, really that's something that's a common misconception is that individuals will say, I have the gene for breast cancer or uh, you know, there's this gene that predisposes to different types of cancer in my family, and we know that we actually all have these genes. So we all have two copies of BRCA1, we all have two copies of BRCA2. Um, we inherit one from mom and one from dad, and their job is to protect us. When we really see that increased risk is when in one of those copies, there's a genetic change that makes it not work properly.